Hey friends, outside the Coliseum, and we are in Saturday. We're entering event number 11. Haley is in fourth place in the overall standings, just 16 points back from third place, but it was a rocky road to get here. It was an emotional roller coaster, actually. Lots of ups and downs. We had a weightlifting event. Haley knew what she could do, she knew what she couldn't do. She was very mature about it, but uh, painfully had to sit there and kind of stare at one barbell. It cost her big time, but then of course she comes back in the very next event, it's handstand. She takes second place to jump her all the way back up to, I think she got to sixth. Well, she had another great event for herself this morning with the running and the toaster bar. So we got ourselves back into fourth place. We know that there's some weightlifting tonight, but right now, event number 11, we're gonna go inside. We've got pegboards, we've got heavy double unders. These are things that she absolutely thrives on. There's a dumbbell, dumbbell overhead squat that people, again, are gonna doubt her, but every time she gets her hands on a dumbbell, we do this a lot in Cokeville, she's gonna thrive. So Haley Adams, what I've been the most, uh, what I've been the most excited about and the most impressed by her since I've known her is that she is so much more mature than her years would, would give you, uh, that would betray her. Like, she's only 20 years old, but I saw her last night after a couple of bad events, and she's like, look man, this is where it is. This is, this is uh, exactly what I thought I could do. And it was best case scenario in all of these events that were basically tailor suited to destroy me. She did great damage control, and now she's sitting pretty in Saturday. So let's go inside the Coliseum, check out what happens. Just a bar, lunch, burpees. burpees, literally everything that's been worst case scenario has happened. So <laughs> I have nothing left but good. So please, please. I mean, if you want to get on the podium, you gotta earn it, no matter what the events are. So I'm just gonna do everything I can and leave no doubt. Whatever happens, happens. If that's enough, that's great. And if it's not, then. Just tell us what we need to know. Yep, but it's not over till it's over. Anything can happen. Now I gotta get these power braids in. <laughs> this will be a YouTube video one day. Everyone wants a tutorial on how I do my hair. Um, <laughs> it's in with right now. I'll have to vlog myself one day, like get a camera. It's gonna be really close today. I just wish we know what we were doing so I know what to wear. Announced, 
Hmm, so I'm going to be going fast. Almost GG's. I'm going to be GG'ing as fast as I can. I'm going to get my little legs to run with the yoke as fast as I can. <laughs> I don't know how much the yoke weighs itself, so I can't picture what plates will be on it, but I'm sure it's relatively heavy. Is it, wait, is there hay out there? Put the hay in the barn. I'll probably wear pants for the hay bale too. Okay, I'll wear pants and hay bale. So I don't get a rash. You can't complain about it. I'm literally going to be cheap. Faster than I ever have in my life. Sunday we have moved into the Coliseum. It was an event uh, this morning. Didn't exactly go Haley's way, but it, just like again, she was able to mitigate the damage, do exactly what she could do, not necessarily what she needed to do uh, to minimize that damage. Now we've got some stuff that's gonna be more to her favor. We dropped from fourth down to sixth, but it's not over in terms of podium contention. She's about 54 or 60 points out, uh, something like that. So it's within the realm of reality. Either way, she's had a fantastic game so far. Now we're gonna see some freestanding handstand push-ups, which I think is gonna play very well for her. There's another heavy heavy barbell. It's been a very heavy CrossFit game. So um, one thing about Haley, man, she's just she's a fighter. Like she stays, she's stayed in good spirits this entire weekend. And so I expect to see her come out swinging. And then we've got one to end it all with that's got a long rowing piece. It's got 90 uh, pull-ups, which is gonna be fantastic for her. And then we'll see what she can do. She's actually a lunge ninja. It's one of her secret powers that a lot of people don't know about. So although it's a semi-heavy barbell, she's a lunge ninja and she's gonna take people by surprise on that finale.
happy with how I did considering all the events that we were given. I I did the best that I could and while it might not be job, thank you while it might not be a podium finish I did the absolute best that I could with what was given to me and I can't ask for any more than that or be upset about that and it just gives me something to work on again and just use it as motivation but I do get to celebrate being the fittest American woman, which is really cool. So I will be proud of that. What are you going to do to celebrate? Go eat some ice cream for <laughs> breakfast, lunch, and dinner. How many calories are you trying to pack in tonight? 10,000. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you off to now? Getting drug tested. Because <laughs> I'm so stuck. Where are we heading, Asia? We're going to get some pizza. Breaking the rules. Are we allowed to? We don't know. I think it's okay. Oh, is that through here? Yeah. I don't know if it's through that way. I already feel nervous. Coach just wants her pizza. <laughs> oh, it's through there. Pizza. We found it. <laughs> it doesn't think anybody cares. Nope. <laughs> what kind are you going for? Something with something on it. Ooh, pepperoni or. Pepperoni. Uh, this is what I've been waiting for all week. <laughs> Don't look at me. 